<laughs> um, so I'm exhausted at the moment and I've got to repeat the performance. After only two days, the inspectors start giving their judgments to each head of department. This part of the, the, the this stage is still part of the inspection process. Um, it's a very important part. It's the part where we feed back to you in an oral way our draft findings at this stage. What you're going to hear is what's called the record of inspection evidence. Trevor will take you through the component parts that he will be supplying to Ofsted that substantiates the judgments that we make. Okay, over to you. Okay. Quality of learning. Learning is always at least sound and is frequent and frequently has good features at key stage three and is usually sound at key stage four. The pupils at key stage three are usually responsive, eager to learn, eager to communicate, reasonably articulate and enjoy the experiences they receive. Study skills are sometimes limited and some pupils are unable to take full advantage of the, pu of the opportunities offered. Teaching is always at least sound and frequently exhibits good features. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be terrified, I'm telling you. I'll just, we've been told we've just got to sit there and, and be quiet and let the inspector have their say. But if they say anything I feel I don't agree with, I'm just, just going to have to say it. I don't know, I'm hoping it'll be, at least it'll be sound. Some sound levels of research uh, were witnessed, particularly in textiles and HE. S there's sound application of skills and knowledge of materials to prescribed but worthwhile tasks, and sound investigation skills witnessed in home economics and textiles. I am about to go into the, the debrief to find out how the inspector has viewed my lessons and what he thinks about the way I teach. I'm extremely nervous and quite anxious because, as I say, I've been teaching at this school for 16 years and all of that teaching now is down to one week's observation by one person. It hasn't worried me and I can't say I've done much extra work either. I do the job as best I can and if they're not happy with it then they can tell me how I can do it better. I better get there in case I... Um, I mean it's important to get there on time I think. I was generally very pleased. Um, it was a good report as far as I was concerned. I think it did us justice. I think it's helped my colleagues a lot. It certainly uh, put my mind at rest. It was a very interesting experience. And they were positive, very positive, but a lot of it's very, very difficult to understand. I've got to now sit down, read through the notes with the head. A lot of the, a lot of the, the words, just as far as I was concerned, were educational jargon. What they actually really mean, we're going to have to sit down, we're going to have to analyse it very, very carefully. Uh, I think it's just a, a sort of a mystique that inspectors put up. It's like a smoke screen. I suppose it's whatever they say. I mean, we've got to accept that they're experts, but are they real? <laughs> and is there an ideal method? You know what Tolstoy said? He said, Tolstoy said, the best method is the absence of all method. And he said, you should teach through love. That's the only way you should, you should teach. There's a clear planning about what concepts are to be developed and, and when. What I'm talking about, further, further thought to be given to is, is exactly how those concepts are, are, to, are to be developed. Is that not written into my scheme of work? It indicates where the concepts are, 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 to, are to be developed. The question is, is, is how. Have I not put in my scheme of work that we will either discuss this with, with the group or we will have a video on this? Have I not done that? If I haven't, then apologies. This isn't Obviously, I'm taking it a little bit, but I know I shouldn't do, but I'm the only teacher of sociology, yes. and I care very much over it. I've worked very hard. And, you know, if, if I do take it personal, apologies. I think most people, you know. I mean, the intention is to try to be helpful in terms of what will be useful pointers for you yes. in, as a good practice sociologist, reflecting on your own practice, like you would urge the students to do.
I do appreciate what you've said. I mean, at the end of the day, I walk out of here and I sit down, I will feel a little bit deflated. I don't know how you can be def deflated with statements about the quality of learning. I'm talking about standards of achievement are such that students generally achieve national expectations. I'm talking about a quality of learning which is generally a sound across lessons. And I'm talking about a quality of teaching which is generally sound and shows good features. That's a very, in my, my terms, a very positive statement. Are there any other points that you'd like to... I know that you mentioned the 1993 examination yeah. results. They were way above the national average, I, not just slightly above. I, I, didn't, say sli were... I, I didn't say slightly above. Uh, you had, in fact, a percentage of 70% achieving A to C grades. Which, which in, in relation to national average? Which, in relation to, na to national averages, was more than significantly above yeah. national averages. Sort of significantly above. So I think, yeah. I, I think we're missing the point. I think it's way above, and I want to labour this point, that in my methodology, in my teaching skills, in whatever I'm doing, I've had a group of, of students that are totally mixed ability, and during that 1993 examination, what was it again? Because you've got... 70% achieving... 70% achieving, achieving, achieving A to C is phenomenal, and there wasn't a single subject in this school that achieved the same results, and I think that's outstanding. I mean, I, I've, got to be, I've got to be truthful, as you well know, I've... Yeah. ...that you felt yeah. that the outcome, the report outcome that you just heard is going to help you in terms of development planning and making progress. That's I mean, all I'm I can ask, Len Trevor. Sie werden ein Bericht für dieses schreiben. Das ist Hausaufgaben auch. Nikki Chandler, head of modern languages, is particularly worried about her German. The school has had no permanent German teacher for the last two years, so Nikki has had to cope by herself. She learned the language from scratch in order to teach it. When the inspectors give their feedback, they're required to use official Ofsted terminology. I mean, George Geit briefs Mike Lewis, the modern languages inspector, before he sees Nikki Chandler. All are almost all pupils are achieving appropriate levels of ability, some are achieving high levels of abilities, and a significant minority are underachieving. Okay, mm -hmm. you say that. You um, can then instance the features mm -hmm. that are accompanying that, mm -hmm. that have led you to that judgment. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right. And then you say, however, what I've got to say about people's capabilities is profoundly important to you. And this is what I want to say. And then you move into that and finish with that. And just tell her how you feel. Tell her what you feel as an inspector about, about the week, in that sense. That you've, you know, finish off by actually saying, I've enjoyed it. You know, and smile like that. <laughs> Where lessons are less good, there's been relatively little appeal to creativity or imagination. Um, and reading and writing would have been not adequately exploited. Uh, now, double lessons of one hour and 40 minutes are not an effective ration for modern foreign languages. Pace, concentration, and that the simple desire to work suffer because of that. Where expectations are high but reasonable, and, and where teachers take risks and make demands, your students do rise to the challenge. German, target language. Instant rewards, the stars, the displays of, of, of achievement, all helping to let them understand what achievement is and to go for it. I take what you're saying, and um, I think the encouragement side of it is very important for our students because a lot of them have got such low self-esteem. That is the way you're going to get the children to respond. It's no good shouting, it's no good um, uh, threatening them. You've got to do the positive thing and, and praise them for what they can do, no matter how small. That's always been my philosophy and always will be. 
Right, move on to quality of teaching. Um, and I want to draw attention to several very strong points for, for you as a department. I want to draw attention to the calm, organised delivery of lessons. Um, I want to draw attention to the excellent use of target language by all teachers in the, in the department, leading to something fairly rare, spontaneous use of that target language by the students. That's really good. Hmm. Uh, and that is one of the indicators that shows how your drive on challenge, raising standards, is paying off. Um, can I just say that um, I was frightened about this because I said to myself earlier this week, I thought, I've had the veil taken away from my face. Mm. That I thought, I thought our children could achieve so much. They are achieving. And I thought it was going to say that. <laughs> you thought we were going to tell you you were failing school, we're failing children, it's clean, failing teachers, didn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. I know what you've been through. It's relief, isn't it? That means more to me than anything. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Carry on, please. We've only heard a little of it so far. So listen to what Michael's got to say now. Most importantly for this school comes the achievement taking into account pupils' capabilities. OK? In a third of the lessons observed at Key Stage 3, pupils achieved appropriately, with many achieving levels that are high for their abilities. OK? Just to reinforce that, I wanted just to bring out a few details about what's going on there. Before you do that, though, did you hear that judgment about against pupils' capabilities? Hmm? Because that was a really, but you really see, positive. I'd say, to, to say to the department, why should our children not achieve? Why should we? Because we are supposed to be an inner city school. Why shouldn't those kids have just the same opportunities and achieve just as well as any other children? I don't care where they've come from. We've had kids come here from private schools. I've sat them down and talked to them in French, and they've got nothing out of them. And yet I know that my kids could do that. And yet we get told, oh, well, I'm not going to say that because well, say that. Say people say, oh, John Ellis, oh, number three on the third from the bottom on the league table. I mean, what rubbish when children that are statemented are actually achieving something. There's no league table for that, is there? I just all week I've been dreading it. I've been thinking, oh, it's going to be awful. All the things I've dreamed of, and it's not. It's all been okay. And now we just go forward, and the main thing is the German. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I mean, two years ago I lost the German teacher and couldn't get anyone. And I thought, I'll do it myself. And I took my GCSEs and I got a grade F. <laughs> and, uh, and I've taught it, and it's all been all right, and I'm just, I'm just so happy. I think the stress levels everybody's under, I don't know how much work we're going to be able to do for the rest of this term. We've got another three weeks to go. I personally feel totally exhausted. Um, it's also actually put us behind in some of our initiatives because we actually stopped doing them because of the run-up to inspection, the preparation of the paperwork, the preparation of ourselves mentally and, and physically for, for it. So, in fact, it has been counterproductive in terms of our development. In many ways, this term is a washout. And quality of learning and quality of teaching. We, yes. were, we were saying that the school was sound mm. or better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sound and yeah. better. Um, the assessment is our better. final judgment when we looked at it globally was sound or better on the quality of learning and the quality of teaching. We said there was variation over 
assessment. your area yeah. assessment mm -hmm. um, and that would probably dip um, if, if quality of learning quality achievement moving up, up to a three it would uh, yeah. that would dip